Welcome to Rouse Rising. I'm Katie and today I have for you a grocery haul. We're going to be baking some goodies and we're going to be cooking up a storm for these kids. I'm going to take this blueberry cream muffin recipe and turn it into a cranberry dark chocolate muffin recipe. Four babies up there. You always get the double yokers. Is that a triple yoker? No, I cracked one for second. I thought it was that first. You cracked two eggs in there? Yeah. Hagen has all of her ingredients over here. We are making, we decided to make these blueberry muffins, cherry ones, cause that's what we had available at the moment. We're using frozen chopped up cherries. We've got bacon soda, vanilla, sour cream, or sugar. We're doubling this recipe, so that's what you're gonna see here. Hot, don't touch that. We got one cup of butter, cause you need half a cup for the recipe. We got a full cup, and we're gonna mix up all of our dry, wet ingredients and our dry ingredients and show you how these muffins turn out. We're making them gluten-free, so we're gonna see how that works. All right, so we're using four cups of this perfect flour blend. It says one to one substitute for wheat flour. And that's what we're gonna use for this blueberry muffin recipe. Hopefully it turns out. They don't have a muffin recipe on here, but we're gonna go by the book. Sure it's leveled off. Here you go. Sprinkle that around. Add your sugar, and then you can keep mixing it, all of it. all that up really good. Mix with a fervor. Are we going to add chocolate to these? Should we? I think we probably should add dark chocolate, yes. Yes.
it, you can pause it. We just have a bigger mess to clean up in the end. I have a bit of a grocery haul for you. I went to Fred Meyers today and went in there for a few things that we needed that we didn't get at we didn't get at Costco um, and then also I failed to place my Azure order this month you guys if you're ordering through Azure make sure that you place your orders early they don't charge you until the order processes after the cutoff when they process your order like when they pack it they charge it at that time so you can place your order anytime during the month and that ensures that whatever is in your cart uh, is placed for an order by the time the cutoff happens, no matter what. So you can change your cart at any time. Anyways, I didn't get Azure, so went to Fred Meyers. They have Kroger brand products. So I'll share with you the deals that I got today, and I got some really good deals, so I stocked up where I could, uh, but trying to keep the grocery bill on the low end since we just did a Costco haul, but we did need a few things here. All right, let's check it out. Back here, I hummed and hauled over all their chocolates and turns out that these were on special for $2.50 per bag. And I managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six bags of those. That was what they had in stock today. Then they had the semi-sweet chocolate baking chips. So I grabbed a bag of those. We needed more parchment paper. We got two boxes of those and these were more these were actually more economical to buy than this. But I also got a roll of parchment baking paper, the unchlorinated, unbleached kind. Back here, we have some Echinacea Immune Support. This is one of my favorite teas that I like to drink. And then got the kids some easy mac and cheese or for Aaron or whoever to make them. We got a soda stream for Aaron. So if you do like the double or triple fizz with the soda stream and then mix it half and half with juice, you have a lovely fizzy refreshing drink. So we grabbed some black cherry juice. The kids have this sometimes too. Just black cherry, just pineapple, and we make yummy drinks with that. Veggie straws for the kids to snack on. And four sweet potatoes, we have um, a we have some produce, but there was a few things I needed to grab today. So we got some sweet potatoes. We grabbed some low fat yogurt. I use that to make ranch dip and the kids add maple syrup to it and blueberries, frozen blueberries. It's really yummy. Grab more hot dog buns, tis the season. Four huge bunches of bananas. They each have quite a few bananas on them. Eight bananas each bunch, hopefully. And then they had the best deal of the day, besides the chocolate, because the chocolate was a really good deal, was the ground beef. And the ground beef right now, it was buy one, get one free, and they were $14.99 a piece. So that's six pounds of beef, ground beef, for $14.99. So I got 12 pounds 12 pounds of meat and then grabbed this to try we've gotten this before but i just went ahead and grabbed one of these because it was eight dollars 8.99 for this 7.50 for each one of those 
we have a potty trained baby and he's pretty much completely potty trained but for those occasional outings out of the house it's easy we take a potty in the car and these are easy and then if he has an accident it's no big deal out in public got some monterey jack cheese two pounds of that and we had five melons and i put them in this laundry basket but uh we ate one already before this grocery haul so now we have four melons these were also on a really good sale they were normally 4.99 each so five dollars for a melon and today they were what did i say these were a dollar fifty or two fifty dollar fifty each so i wasn't sure because they are all really ripe i wasn't sure if we'd be able to eat more than this but we'll eat one tomorrow morning and then tomorrow night and then the next morning and the next night so we should be able to get through those in the next two days. Maybe we'll pick up some more if they still have the sale next time we go into town in the next couple days. All right, so everything here was 141. Hold on. Oh yeah, I don't think I talked about these. Animal crackers for the kids. Some days, these are sanity savers. 141.94, I saved $80.96 on this grocery haul. This is what we're having this morning. We're just taking our bread, like our two day old bread, and we make French toast waffles with it. These are awesome. I'm gonna make up extra and stick them in the fridge or the freezer for another time. Tonight we're gonna do a salad and this is, we're just throwing everything with the kitchen sink on it. And then we've got some homemade ranch dressing right here and some boiled eggs that we've mashed up. But this has yellow peppers, cucumbers, avocado, carrots, uh, cranberries, goat cheese, romaine lettuce. I can't remember what else. But I'm gonna see what else I can add on it. But this is what we're having for dinner. It's just a gigantic salad. Oh, um, we've got some black beluga lentils. I'm gonna strain out for the kids to put on there. And yeah, should be good. All right, large family salad is ready. This is my biggest glass bowl that I have. To this part of the video thank you so much for being here with me and for hanging out with me that means the world to me and my family that you would give us the time to watch this video through so lately summertime has been jam-packed with a lot of nothing I'm gonna be honest with you here I know a lot of people have summer bucket lists and they try to just knock it all out and get it all done but around the Rao house we choose to take it easy stick around the home, stay cool. We don't have air conditioning, so we're staying cool with water sprinklers outside and keeping the house cool as we can during the day and staying in the shade during this heat wave that we are experiencing. That means I'm making a lot of cold sandwiches. I'm trying not to turn the oven or the stove on as much as possible. And when I do, it's early morning or late evening so that it keeps, uh, it's at a time when we can open up the windows and keep the house cool. Summer, summer, summertime. I love it. I love the heat. I love being able to wear summer clothes and be in a bathing suit if I want to go outside and run through the sprinkler or whatever. You can see that I've got my little linen dress on over top of my swimsuit on this particular day. We spent a lot of time outside and then Aaron took the kids um, out of the house for a little while 
to go to a playground just to have a change of scenery. We were all going stir crazy. I used that time to get their lunch prepared uh, and to do a few things around the house, a few tidying up tasks. The kids and Aaron all help tidy up the house before they leave, but they're still, you know, they pick up the toys and they put everything back in order and vacuum the floor, but there's still other tasks that I have to manage and get done. A lot of it has to do with the kitchen and food prep, meal prep, that sort of thing, and food management. So we have a lot of bulk foods that I have to manage and keep track of and rotate through. So that was a task uh, on this day that I, I briefly tended to, but for the moment, I just filmed getting their lunches ready. I thought that was important. If I got their lunches knocked out, that whenever they returned back home, the kids could be fed and taken care of, and I could continue with whatever I have to do next without interruptions because everybody's going to be well taken care of. So that was my plan for this particular afternoon. And you can see I am plating up some of that beautiful Tuscan melon that we got on sale from the grocery store that has really fed us well this past week. It was so delicious. Just trying to be mindful of how much money we're spending at this time in our life. So I think it worked out and it was part of the, the greater plan that I didn't do an Azure Standard haul this month because our dishwasher broke, our refrigerator broke, and both of those are gonna need to be replaced, especially because this next year is gonna be wild. We're likely gonna be selling our house and moving. And so we've gotta have working appliances. Plus we just need working appliances. So uh, with those hiccups, with the dishwasher replacement and the refrigerator replacement, and then Aaron's uh, career ending in the next four to six months, and then we're gonna have a transition period, we really need to buckle down and save money. So my plan is to start using up more and more and more of my pantry stored items, save money at the grocery stores as much as possible. Like I mentioned before, we have a wedding and a family trip coming up and both of those are gonna be hits to our bank account as well. So my goal this month, uh, the month of July, uh, the rest of the July and August is to use up some of um, some of the items in my home, the food items. As well, we're gonna continue to buy produce because we always need fresh produce. It is farmer's market season. It is fresh produce season. So I'm gonna be trying to get as much of that as I can and take advantage of the delicious foods that are available in our community from the local farmers. Uh, so, Everybody's starting to produce now. My neighbor just gave me a bunch of zucchini and squash. I didn't tell you guys, but I did not do a full-blown garden this year. Couldn't swing it, couldn't wing it. Not gonna do it with the uncertainty of our future. I decided I love gardening, but this year I need to focus my energy elsewhere and get my family and my home prepared for what is ever is in store in the next six months to a year. I hope you stick around to see how our future unfolds and what's in store, the new kitchen I might have in the future, my new garden space. I don't know, we'll just have to see, play it by ear. Who knows, maybe we're meant to live in Oregon forever. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you in the next video. I must have been wrong